I... I... What do I do? Go to your business. Talk about it with Constance. Now you guys have something to share and also something to talk about. Lost power and lost land. <laughs> Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. To War. Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike. But each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. We see 5,000 gold from the Church of Saros. Are we still doing school? I mean, we're in the middle of the month now. How did that happen? Unforgivable! I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. Maybe you shouldn't be so violent yourself. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. What is her objective? There is no question on that front. She clearly wishes to conquer all of Fodlin. And in order to achieve her own selfish ambitions, she plotted with ill-meaning strangers and defiled the Holy Tomb. Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven nor forgotten. Oh, what we must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrick Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. Sacred duties? You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say, your lost memories are surely beginning to return. Nope, sorry. I think you're confusing me with Sultis. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlin. Uh, whatever you say, Rhea. See ya. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know. I beg of you. <sighs> That one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother, I will do my part as well. Flame, were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the professor, after all. 
And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flane. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. That was on Wednesday. It's yeah, Constant's birthday. You know, we never got a chance to do tea parties. Let's see some tea parties. Oh no. <laughs> we can only get a freaking good Constance if we're inside my room. This is still in C support and B support. So we're outside, so we got gloomy Constance. I am sorry you could find no one but me to share your tea with. I shall endeavor to hold up my end of the conversation <laughs> nonetheless. <laughs> You ought not to have gone to such lengths to prepare my preferred tea. <laughs> you prefer a very cheap tea? <laughs> Allow me to express my deepest thanks. <laughs> oh. My hands are trembling. You mean your sword hand is tingling. Twitches. Your sword hand twitches. What? What's your favorite sweets? You seem different. Fudge! Okay, uh, the courtyard couple. Fudge! Now I cannot miss no more. What? Our first meeting. Yes. Though my dream can never be achieved, I shall continue my futile efforts. I simply see no other course of action. Amonish? Ah, fudge. I shall take my leave now. I hope that I have not wasted too much of your time. No! I wanted to make it perfect! Okay. Time to devise a plan. Uh, Dimitri. Can make you a great knight, but then you lose some that great knight. A bold knight? Uh, could have been a good. Could have been. Anyways, we got one day. Choir festival. One day. To get everything set up in one day for me to get all the supports that I can get. So I don't have to worry about doing supports in the future. Which I'm probably by the time I'm recording this video, I still have a bunch of supports still left. And I refuse to make a support only video that I did with the Golden Deer route. Anyways, let's uh, start the exploration. They're still in the abyss. I think it's time we pay them a visit. Hey, Happy! Lots of people in Abyss are already struggling to get by. War will make things even harder for us. We're sure to run out of food and other supplies. And there will probably be refugees to take care of. Not to mention what might happen if the Empire takes over and decides to redecorate. Oh yeah, there's that too. So you got your buddy with you now! Hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Oh, guess who was worried about Abyss and came by to check on me? I mean, on us. Isn't that nice? That's just so nice. My pleasure. Surely the church can spare one night to help you watch over this place? <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm just... Just don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> Moving along! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I think I have so much uh, to, to be honest, this is not to um, make fun or talk bad about the gatekeeper that's on top, but I'm having so much fun with this gatekeeper than the other one. This is serious. <laughs> okay. 
He's funny. Actually coming, isn't it? Unbelievable. Imperial troops in Garrig Mach? It's gonna be wild. Whatever happens won't affect us down here in Abyss, though. Will it? Oh, as long as Ray continue keeping you guys safe, I guess. Is that the thing, Ray thing? This might be our last chance to get out of here. I'm leaving Garrig Mach. You should too. Protect the students. <laughs> Have you got a death wish? <sighs> all right, all right. Uh, take this and try not to get killed. Got his icon. Cool. Yes, I need to protect students. Have people to protect. I'm gonna protect all of you. Huh? Not a lot of NPCs to talk to. So this is how it's turned out. I figured as much, but I didn't anticipate it would happen so soon. If Garrick Mach becomes a battlefield, Abyss will have no choice but to get involved. Everyone here will have no alternative. They've got nowhere else to go. I could smell a war brewing. And sure enough, here we are. Hmm. If Fodlin falls into chaos, I wonder if my debts will fall away along with it. <laughs> Just think it'll out here. Does it work that way? If the Empire wants a fight, let's give him one to remember. It shakes me to my core that the Empire would lash out so violently. I shall have to reconsider my intended path towards restoring House Nouvelle. Oh! Oh! We got new support! This is when Ferdinand and Constance's peace support finally opens. Hello, Constance. Greetings, Ferdinand. My condolences on your misfortune that our paths have crossed again. Oh dear. I am not used to hearing you deprecate yourself like that. Never mind. Just listen. If it is an audience you require, I will endeavor to meet that need. When we last spoke, I was attempting to connect with you. To listen and show you some empathy. But I was so clumsy with my words that I came across as callous and conceited. I hurt you. I know. The notion that a noble of House Iyer could display arrogance is difficult to credit. That you even deign to speak to me is a testament to your humility. As grateful as I am for the honor, it would be best for us both if I take my leave. No, please, hear me out. Though your words chafed, I see now that they were perceptive. I was being arrogant. I tend to... overcompensate. Perhaps I make a fool of myself, bragging about my superiority to Edelgard. You do yourself a disservice. If you are a fool, then I am Folly herself. But you must know that it is no reflection on your sterling quality, Ferdinand. Even in the face of such adversity, you never strayed from the correct path. If this was the right path, the wrong path hardly bears thinking about. Still. Your kindness has eased my worries a bit. A wise noble once said that life is a series of peaks and valleys. But I have struggled to find the peaks. I was once pushed to the nadir of a valley, and have spent my days confined there ever since. There is little chance that I will ever return to the heights I once knew. But it will not be for lack of trying. Your persistence is admirable. You are too gracious. I see the highest of peaks on your own road. The way is steep, but not long. You will reach it yet. And if my words might reach the ears of a man who has attained such heights, perhaps one who has reached his summit might pull a climber up behind him? Such is my heart's desire, unspeakable though it may be. I wonder if that will play out better. It would play out differently if she was inside. But too bad we're just getting the inside version. I swear I'm gonna make this right. Get this right, get this right, get this right, get this right, get this right. Fudge! Let's try this one more time. As you might enjoy. Okay. Yes. Fashion. Yes. 
All right, cool. This is perfect, no matter what. People often remark that I lack any opinions of my own. What do you think about that? Hmm... Amonish? No. Whatever. Perfect! Let's see what you have to say. My hands are trembling. I knew it. What? What? Does the sun's glare not vex you? Perhaps it's better if we went inside. That's only exclusive for a rank, I guess. If you have a favor to ask, name it. I shall make myself useful in any way you require. That's all you have to say? Okay. I shall take my leave now. I hope that I... How are you, Professor? Any new changes to report? With the Imperial Army drawing near, it is most vexing that we cannot relax and converse as we once did. Thankfully, you have the divine protection of the Goddess on your side. Please try to listen carefully for her voice. I, I will try. May the Goddess's voice reach you. Well, we fuse, so we. I can still invite you to tea. What are you talking about? We can still hang out. We must protect Garrick Mark. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. I have something to ask of you. I said that quest. <gasps> oh, you know what? I totally forgot about something. Last month. To think Edelgard was somehow connected to the captain's murderer. Well, perhaps it's pointless to get upset about the past. My duty now is to prepare for battle. We're depending on your strength, Professor. Crush our enemies. Crush thy enemy. I'm depending on you. Captain, I hope you're watching. We will protect Garrick Mark. Speaking of. Professor, I will do whatever I can to serve you. Excellent. Leave it to me. No matter how small the task is, I vowed to Gerald I would help you. Great, but now we gotta train you a bit more. Oh, and um... By the by... We're depending... Oh, this is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks. I owe you. Hey, buddy. You saw it too, didn't you? The boar's true nature. He's hidden his desire for revenge pretty well. But now it's stirred up. Well, regardless. That girl's starting an all-out war, isn't she? But an enemy is an enemy, no matter who they are. Don't let compassion for her get in your way. Oh, I won't. I've known His Highness since I was a child, but... I've never seen that side of him before. He seemed like a completely different person than the one I know. Half of the Empire's six great noble families have declared their support for Edelgard. Of the other three, Lord Vestra was assassinated. Hubert, his son, will succeed him. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is under house arrest. His wife is now supporting Edelgard. And my father, he was stripped of his role as Prime Minister. As a result, House Iyer has lost all of its power, all of its lands. We have lost everything. I... I... What do I do? Go to your business, talk about it with Constance. Now you guys have something to share, and also something to talk about. Lost power and lost land. <laughs> Hi. I cannot believe our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little by little. They couldn't be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. Thank you for the intel. No, I believe... I believe we can use that strategy to... to fire back at Edelgard at some point. I'm not sure about in this timeline, maybe in another timeline. His Highness calls for the head of Edelgard. For me, that is cause enough to fight. 
Uh, are you alright with that? The hatred of his highness is also my <laughs> hatred. Any other feelings I may have are irrelevant. Wow, you can see him angry. We, yes, revenge. Actually, if you look at his thing, he does look like he's smiling. His actual, like, friendly smile, but <laughs> the porch is like, yeah, we're putting the wings in and making him, like, be angry and smile at the same time. And if Edelgard was responsible in any way for the tragedy of Dusker, that is something I cannot ignore. If that is the case, then she is my enemy. Once the Imperial Army reaches the monastery, we'll have no choice but to fight. What's going to happen to us? Everything will be alright. I'll protect you guys. I believe you. With the knights on our side, and especially with you, Professor, I know we can do this. I'm pretty sure if I said I don't know, and Ned will get the bonus support. Things must be pretty crazy in Fargus about now. My father must be beside himself. I don't get it. Why did Edelgard make enemies with the nobles? I have no idea. Me either. Of course. Even if we did get it, what do we do about it? I hope this all gets sorted out quickly and safely. I'm worried about my father. There are always small power struggles, still. It has been hundreds of years since all of Fogland was consumed by war. I didn't actually think it would come to this. I feel as though I'm not in my rightful place. I cannot protect the things I should. Professor, if I survive this war, I wish to return to my homeland. To the land of my king. There's one note. Uh, for now, we'll be a good company. And that's it. Back to gathering information. Hey, I guess we have no choice but to fight, have we? Oh, but why would Edelgard do something like this? I'm sure we'll be all right, though, Professor. The goddess will keep us safe. Uh oh, Dimitri. Dimitri, are you okay? I'll have that girl's head. Just you wait. Oh boy. Well done. You have my thanks. Hey, here you go. Perfect. You need to figure out how many uh, renown points I have. And I think that's about it. The rest of the time I'm going to be doing is just uh, preparing and getting supports and. Yeah, getting ready for the final, for the next battle. So yeah, uh, yeah, there's nothing up up there today. So let's just Ash, you and you do need to raise Sedith and Sedith and Felix, right? Hubba hubba hubba, we got it. Excellent. Well done, Ash. Continue such work, and you will certainly make a name for yourself. You think so? Thank you, Gilbert. You really are amazing, you know. Your skills with the lance and bow are just incredible. One learns the craft of knighthood well after 40 years of service. Wow, 40 years? That's incredible. With that many years of training, I'd be really strong, wouldn't I? Further training and service will only make you stronger. Yet, why spend your life this way? Knighthood is not glamorous. On long campaigns, you sleep rough in all manner of weather, and may eat gruel more often than venison. It seems odd that you would admire me, or that you would long to be a knight. Are you sure of yourself? But of course! It's been my dream for a long time now. I really can't help but admire you. Your years of knighthood are so impressive. I do not deserve your praise. I merely performed my duties to the best of my skill. Don't be modest, you're a great knight. If there's any more you can teach me, I would be very happy to learn. Hmm. Tell me this. Once you don the armor, raise your shield and level your lance, why? What is it you wish to protect? Protect? I... 
Um, well, whatever needs protecting, right? You must know exactly what you protect before you become a knight. I understand. I'll take that to heart. What is it that you want to protect, if I may ask? My duty has always been to protect my lord. That is a given for any knight. But for myself, doubly so. Then there are the personal reasons. Each knight has their own. Yet mine, I do not speak of. Oh. How come? Because it is personal. Mine. It allows me to focus on the work and grants me discipline. That is sufficient. Discipline, huh. Something to protect. I'll have to think of something. Sweetness. Uh, Felix and Steadit needs support, yeah? I did not mean support, what I mean is motivation. So, yeah. Let's give Steadit and Bernie a chance. Okay, well, um. Yeah, that's about it. Um, I was able to grab. Uh, Grab the support before I end the video, so, um, this is where I'm gonna, not end the video, uh, just stop recording and head towards the final day. Um, see you guys in a bit. Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. They're here. At long last. It seems this will be a battle to remember. About time. But you're about excited as Dimitri about this battle. I'll never give up. No matter how outnumbered we are, I'll fight to the very end. Hmm. I should have made a move on the Imperial Princess before things got this far. It could have changed everything. Or it could have led to your early death. We have the Goddess's divine protection on our side. All that's left is to try our best. All we can do is fight as best we can. Though, if I'm being honest, I'm really scared right now. We can't just hand over the kingdom and the monastery. We'll stop her, no matter what it takes. Your Highness, you do not seem... well. <laughs> Unwell, you say? What's gotten into you? Nothing could be farther from the truth. I'm so happy I can hardly contain myself. That doesn't look my happy. My father, my stepmother, my dear friends. They want her head. They want her life. They've whispered as much to me. And the chance to answer their pleas has arrived at long last. Is anyone listening to this guy? Is anyone even paying attention to how he's just closing his eyes like, Yes, yes, Edelgard is here. Now, I could have my vengeance. Sweet, sweet vengeance. Hey, don't lose control out there. <laughs> I'm always in control, Professor. And I'll stay in control until I have the pleasure of killing that woman. That does not sound like controlling. Let's move, Professor. Even if it costs me my life, I won't rest until I've crushed her skull in my bare hands. Yeah, I think that's something he'll love to feel. Edegard's skull in his head. Cut close! Appreciate it. Okay. Um, first things first. Um, I was able to get some support. Dimitri support, so two new support for them. That's awesome. Uh, 
Yeah, we kind of finished. We cannot do uh, Ingrid until later on. Also, I should mention that while Dimitri's also done with his pedalion, and now he got uh, Ayas, also was able to finish with Sylvain's um, Fortress Knight. He now he's passive, which means I should have him try out for the Dark Knight class. Huzzah! Okay, no big deal, really. Okay, let's get rid of the supports right now. Uh, your highness? Why are you in my room? Sorry, I need to hide in here, just for a while. I'll have you know this is all your fault. Hide? From who? It's some um, girl from the academy. I'm sorry, it's a what? This is all because of your insistence that I go and ask a girl out. You didn't give her a dagger, did you? Is that why you're hiding? Does she have a dagger, Dimitri? Look, <laughs> you kept true to your promise to improve your behavior. So I felt it was only right to make good on my side of the bargain, too. You invited a girl to dinner, and now she's chasing you around. What's the big deal? Unless... Did you use one of my pickup lines? Those words are dangerous in the wrong hands. With me, people know a line's a line and I'm joking. But you, nobody's ever accused you of being funny. I clearly underestimated the difficulty of the task. But what do I do now? Relax, your highness. Relax. I'll sort this whole thing out real easy. All we have to do is figure out how to make this girl lose interest in you. And making girls lose interest is what I'm best at. You just wait right there, and I'll fix everything. It was my naivete that brought this about. I cannot place this immense burden on your shoulders. This is no job for an amateur. You need a professional's help. You need a professional help on his mental stability like two days ago. Trying to do everything yourself has never served you so well, so just leave this to the master. Even the dagger incident could have been avoided if you had just talked with me beforehand. There wasn't time for consultation. I only learned she was leaving on the day of her departure. Whatever you say. The point is, you need to learn to rely on me for these types of things in the future. For now, I got this. And if I ever need help with... something you know how to help with, then maybe you can do the same for me. Sylvain. Very well. When that time comes, I promise to help you as best I can. A knight of Fargus never goes back on his word. Isn't that right? You're a good man, Sylvain. I'm sorry to do this to you. Best of luck. Please, your highness. I've spent years honing my skills for just this situation. Watch and learn. No one ever gets to watch and learn. Alright, Ingrid. Your highness? I've come to apologize. I mismanaged my feelings and got carried away. I've been thinking about what might have made you say the things you did. I was so caught up in the moment, and in my own feelings, that I didn't think of what yours might be. No, I should be the one to apologize. I did not intend to say such things. I lashed out like a child. You were right to rebuke me. I am disgusted by my own inability to express myself. Will you allow me to explain? Of course. At the tragedy of Dusker, I saw countless corpses. Of course, I saw his, too. Glenn's. Ingrid, I doubt you would have been able to see him. They were unable to bring his body back, after all. He must have died an agonizing death, full of pain and regret. That is what I saw in his face. In that wasteland, there were no beautiful, proud deaths that could have been written about in heroic tales. Not one. I do not want you to die a death like that. Not even for the sake of loyalty or duty. A king must at times order his soldiers and knights to fight and die on his behalf. Their lives must be used for the greater good. This is something any good king understands innately. 
Any king who doesn't allow people to die on his behalf is too soft to rule well. You leave me little room for argument. Have I disappointed you? No. I chose to serve you because of how you are. As your knight, I will stand by your side and uphold your soft-hearted ideals. What has changed, Ingrid? You were so obstinate the other day. I've realized that I haven't been facing a very important truth. Because of you, I can finally move on. Thank you. Hmm. And I guess that will be it. Let me get rid of all these other supports and then we can continue on with our lives. Alright, let's get the mission started. The Battle of Garrick Mach. The Imperial Army, led by Adegar, advances on Garrick Mach as everyone struggles to, to process this turn of events. The grim reality of war fast approaches. Let's to do this. Alright, the day of reckoning has come. I don't like this. I'd rather have me right over there. I'll gain some more experience points today. Interesting. I'm trying to figure out should I take Yuri and Constance or Yuri and like Sithi over this. I only ask because this guy exists. I don't prize if you just take it on myself. Alessithia is really good, but you know what? I'll take Alessithia and I'll go ahead and I wanna take Yuri because I mean Yuri has the freaking dancer class. Which helps out. You know what? Let, let's go ahead let's I'll go ahead and not just the dancing ability and go and take Constance with us. Okay, I think we are set. Let's do this. The Freaky Enemy Commander! Link, Dimi or Ray of Fox in Battle or defeat or the defended location is captured. I have a report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. The Archbishop and the defensive line both require our assistance. We must protect them until reinforcements get here. Player phase! Alright. So, the starting song Give it. with you being rid of this guy. What's done is done. And she leveled up. Change for the better. Good try. They seemed right for defeat. Stay here just to. What should I do? What? Sure, at least that way we could get some a way a shorter way to get in, not at the same time we could go ahead and counter it. The only problem is that he doesn't get his uh, defense. Thing, which is a shame. Well I did say I need the training. A bonk 32, she's gonna kill me. She's gonna kill me. At least if I don't kill her first. Dead. We all have. Uh, yeah, especially Sylvain has the blade, so that should be alright. Miss. It's very pointy. Yeah. 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 
Thank you, sub. That crescent thing hurts. As expected. Level 32, just one more level and I'll be ahead of Dimitri. Such power dwells within. I think, I think I'll stick with the training max for now. Lance. Training Lance. Fudge, you better miss one. God damn it, we lost a Seros. I mean a knight. Silverland? No hesitation. That hurts, you punk. You didn't give it your all. Yeah, you didn't crit me, you itch. Oh, someone's gonna have to clean up the top of the <laughs> castle. Dunstan's... Yeah, he has a battalion. Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. We must retake the strongholds to the east and west so our reinforcements can get through. At this point, Dimitri is probably so lost that... Um... The dude is taking is taking over the his spot as the person in charge of the whole thing with you. I didn't try to go up there and I might get attacked. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Take this sickle! Over already. You know, if I had time, I think his, his, the next class I was going to get him to is Fortress Knight so he could get past it. Yeah, I'm not going to have time for that. Next time, bring your friends. Bernadette, uh, level 27. Whoa, did I get stronger? Now to deal with this. Uh, I need to be a little bit closer. There we go. You say so. I think brought him up a bit. No more assembly. Let's begin. Perfect. Let's see if we can get Sylvain to finish you off right now. And I forgot to equip you with your magic ability. The critical black arts. Whatever. Die. Oh yeah, Sylvain is level 32. I need to deal with that too. I don't like you. Get out of here. Out there further. Look at that! The dude just punched a wall with his bare fist. That's awesome. Bogonon! One more. Bogonon! I shall shop on your head with the sickle. That's Dimitri saying it. That's his evil voice. 
I don't think I have the the range. Well, not the range, but yeah, this is. Oh, I guess I can use it actually. Now that I think about it. Go ahead, take this. You were outmatched. Perfect. Master skill for Dark Flyer. Perfect Transmute. I think that's a permanent transmute. Oh, tra that's pretty awesome. Get hit by a magic attack? I could bait him and all of my stats goes up by three. That is pretty cool. Die! <laughs> Randolph, how are you doing, buddy? I have a sword. You cannot hurt me. I also have stat alarm. You cannot hurt me. Dimitri is made of stone. You cannot hurt him. Oh. Okay, he's made of fire, so of course we're gonna get that good. Ooh, that hurts a lot. That wasn't enough to put him down. That was a horrible miss. Did that just remind me that these monsters are really students that Edogar technically grabbed and turned into monsters? Or at least the ones that she's working with turned them into monsters? That's a big no no. Big no no. Speaking of big no no. Die! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I always get scared at the fact that there's like 18% chance of me missing. Missing with Dark Spike data. I guess if I were Luna. But this is the one I need to go through. This fight is but a sideshow to the ravaging of the sacred place that is Garrick Mark. They're gonna kill you all. Shut up, get spiked! The time is not right. I will wait for the next opportunity. And he wins. Me. One stronghold secured. Yes. Yeah, I might as well go for it. You're studying my little glowy thing, with you get off! Man, now Ned is on my thing. You're in my way! Why is these NPCs so mean to me? Actually, this would be good. Let's win this already. Together we can do this. Sorry, you got me too. What's the matter? I'm gonna hide here. Uh no one can reach me. Well, he can, but he's too busy being paralyzed. He's in awe by my thing with you. The dude, you must go over here and help this guy. You must help this team. 
you, on the other hand, need to go and do something about these guys. God damn it. Is that all? Heavy damage much? Each new experience is an asset. Sorry, buddy, you must go. I have no choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. Uh, your choice. You can choose not to bug us. Uh, I'm finished. I'm loath to say it, but I must retreat. You know my problem with my voice sounding like it's so far away is because I'm actually feeling just louching in the seat. And being a little bit as far away from the mic as possible. Just sometimes I don't do can't, can't, I can't be here. Do something about it! Fudge! You had a chance to do something about it and you decide to get yourself killed. <laughs> okay. Then never mind, let's just kill you off right now. What you fail to appreciate is that we have at our backs a force you cannot hope to defeat. You will never defeat the might of our army. Burned! God damn it, Constance! I was ready to make a joke and you had to miss the first hit! Ah, uh, speed. He doesn't, yeah, no, he doesn't see chicken. I think with chicken. When I mean a thing with chicken, I mean. He doesn't have the. the gambits. And he healed! I can only do 3 damage! At least I guarded. Wait. Oh, yeah, he does 3 damage. I'm doing 3 damage. I'm looking at the wrong stats. You still got hit! Ugh, I gotta be careful. I feel like my voice is probably gonna turn more later on. Oh gosh, she's a coming. They're all a coming. Oh, well, that one is going down. Let's have you take care of this guy. Oh, oh, punch! Spin hook kick to a punch. I love it. We still have the advantage. Now I shall run away like a little bitch. Ha 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 ha! Both strongholds secured, with time to spare. Hey, you stop it! My life was changed forever by Her Majesty. Now I lay it on the line. Lay it with this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I guess came for the rescue. We now know how I feel when getting I guess. Yeah, yeah you're, you're not a good archer anyways. Ah, this guy. Well, if you don't mind if I were to How far can you reach us? Ah, that's about good enough. You see my poke you fuck but well, mostly your horse. You still poke you. Hey buddy! Bye buddy! No even your eyes did not do I'm anything. I'm so sorry. I can't keep going. I must retreat. Well to be fair, um Constant did something to your health, so <laughs> 
It is not fair for me to just slap and call it, haha, it was me, Austin. It was me all along. Yeah. So obvious. Yeah. Too slow. Ha. Your death lambda has no meaning. Oh. It's kind of confusing what the NPC is up to. I will break you. That's the second critical hit in a row you just did. Fudge! What? You could attack from there? Fortified everyone within my range. Mercedes is to level 29. I feel more powerful. Well, at least she'll survive with three, right? So, House Nouvelle has chosen the path that will lead to its ultimate demise. How pitiable. As you say, I have forfeited my claim on being a noble of the Empire. That is why you must permit me to challenge you in combat, that I may establish a new House Nouvelle. As you wish. Let's see if your resolve is a match for my own. Hello, can Counterattack. Gosh, is this what people feels like when they face against my Ingrid? You know, let Demetri take the kill. I'm going to go over here and read it out. Thank you. Level 33. Another step forward. Hello, buddy. Have you met Demetri in his new death site? It is a killer. Late. I. We are all tired of waiting. Now. Let's separate that sick head from your neck, shall we? <laughs> you never were one for patience. Oh, that's it. I will do it through. We're about the same level. Aloise, level 27. Holy jeez, Aloise. Stage complete dog. I was MVP, yes! Maybe because of the of the battalion somewhere around there. You fought well, but now your fight is over. Send in our reserve troops and give my uncle the signal. What is this? That's a whole lot of gatekeeper jobbers. Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. <clears throat> I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. What is going on?
What now? I'm coming! <laughs> How long does that reach? That's a very long reach. The wonder you could like recover from almost anywhere in Smash. Well not like like way way down, but still. <laughs> Hello. Why did you come? <laughs> Man, and they're these answers. <laughs> like I said, assholes. <laughs> 